So in this video we're doing projects 67 through 76. And the first one here again is project number 67 and it is the Quiet Zone game. And that's what our circuit looks like. Now it's very similar to the last project in the previous video, project number 66, which was that bombing game. Now the difference between that circuit and this one is we simply add a second number two snap onto one of our three snaps that we've got here. So in case this one is put on the top one, and then we got one on the third one, and then our other player, player two, of course, takes this and then puts it on here trying to find where the quiet zone is. Obviously, if they hit this one or that, it'll sound the space where I see and will hear it. If they get this one, it'll be quiet and they will score points. So, and show how the circuit is. Again, the rules and stuff are very similar to the previous project, so you can kind of get them from there. The only difference here is this, each player starts out with 10 points. Every time they hit one of these, they lose a point, so that's how it's determined. And so once player one sets up their areas where the quiet zone is going to be, they take a piece of paper and cover it up so that only the ends show. So again, Player 2 comes along, and he tries to find where it is. Oh. Well, obviously, that's not the quiet zone, so Player 2 would have lost one point. If he goes down here, well, obviously he can tell that that is also not the quiet zone, so he loses another point. Then he comes here, and oh, he's found the quiet zone. So... That's essentially how project number 67 works. It's a variation again of project 66. So let's go ahead and move on to project 68. So here we are with project number 68. And it is the Space War Music Combo. And there's what our circuit looks like. And the objective here is to combine our Music IC and Space War IC sounds together. And what we're doing is we've got a photo resistor to operate some of the sounds on the space form. We've also got our push button. Then we've got our music IC, which is going to run continuously because we've got it hooked up to both the input and the hold function. So that will loop it all the time. We've got a speaker and our 2.5 volt lamp on the output. And then we've got some jumper wires to help connect it all. So let's turn the circuit on and see our mix of sounds. And then when I turn it on, we hear the audio from the speaker, we can see the light lighting up, and we can hear the music I see in Space War I see sounds together. And if I press the push button, I can change the sounds. I can also do it by waving my hand over the photoresistor, which changes some of those effects. You can also tell that I can turn off the Space War I see by just putting my finger over it. And of course I can get the sound of the push button. Anyway, that's how that circuit works. It just it kind of mixes the music I see and space where I see sounds together using different input methods. So again, that's how project number 68 works. So let's go ahead and move on to project 69. So here we are with project number 69. And it is the Space War Siren. And there's what our circuit looks like. And the objective here is for combining the effects of the Space War and Alarm ICs together. Now the way this circuit is set up, our Space War IC is driving our Alarm IC. And the Space War IC drives our light. The Alarm IC is driving our speaker. And we got a resistor here on one of our inputs of the Space War IC and we got a push button on the other and then we got a continuous output. So, as the name suggests when we turn on the circuit, we should be getting something like a siren sound effect mixed with the space war sounds. So let's see what happens. And that's kind of what you see we're getting. This flickering is probably the sounds from our siren off the alarm I see. And then we're getting these other sounds from the space war I see here. If I push the button, it'll brighten up the lamp. 
kind of mangles the sound up a little bit. And when you let go, it goes right back to our Space 4 siren sound effect. So essentially that is how project number 69 works. So let's move on to project 70. So here we are with project 70. And it is the quiet water alarm. And there's what our circuit looks like. And the objective here is to sound an alarm when water is detected. Now in this circuit we've got our alarm IC and it's driving our whistle chip and also a red LED light and they're connected between a 100 ohm resistor and then it's all turned on and off via our slide switch. These two leads are going to be placed where we want to detect the presence of water. So, when I turn the switch on, obviously nothing should happen. Now I'm going to put the leads in this cup of water here. I'm going to start with the black lead and then I'm going to put our red lead in there And as the alarm I see activates, and we can hear the audio out of the whistle chip in our red LED lights up. And our volume through the whistle chip is being enhanced by our 100 ohm resistor, that's how we can hear it. But as you can see, it's detected the presence of water. It's just enough current going through there to activate our alarm I see. Now obviously, the alarm I see normally sounds like this. It sounds like our police siren. But when it's in here, there's so little current going through, it actually changes how it sounds. But anyway, that is how the quiet water alarm works, and that's how Project 70 is. So let's go ahead and move on to Project number 71. So here we are with Project number 71, and it is the light controlled lamp and there's what our circuit looks like and our objective here is to, to control a lamp using light so as our circuit is set up here we're using our music IC and it's driving our two and a half volt lamp and we've got the photoresistor hooked up to the hold port so let's see what happens so when I turn it on, the light automatically comes on, and it pulsates with the music that would be playing from the music I see if we were listening to it on the speaker. Now, as long as light is hitting the photoresistor, the music I see will loop over and over and will never turn off. Now, if I cover up the photoresistor, the light goes out. If I uncover it, the light will automatically come back on. Cover it up, goes back out. Now there's no way to change the intensity of the light coming out of the L1 lamp by covering the photoresistor up even a little bit. All it does is trigger on and off the music I see. So anyway, that is how project number 71 works. So let's move on to project number 72. So here we are with project number 72. And it is the voice controlled lamp. And that's what our circuit there looks like. And the objective here is to control the lamp using sound. Now it's again similar to how Project 71 looked, but we took our photoresistor off of the hold and now we put the whistle chip on the trigger side of the port there. So when I turn the circuit on this time, again our lamp will turn on, but it will only keep the lamp lit through for one cycle. There you see it goes out. Now if I tap the whistle chip, see the lamp comes back on and the music I see restarts the loop again. And then it will go out. And then if I either talk really loud or again tap on the whistle chip, it will automatically start the music I see again and our light will light up. So that is how project number 72 works. So let's move on to project 73. So here we have project number 73, and it is the motor controlled lamp. And there's what our circuit looks like, and the objective here is to control the light using the motor. Now very much like project 72, it's on the trigger port of the music IC, but instead of the whistle chip, we replaced it with the motor. So when I turn on the circuit, 
again our light will come on and it will, again it will stay on for only one loop of the music I see and then go out now all I have to do is turn the motor just a little bit and the music I see restarts because when I turn the motor I induce a very small current in the windings in it and then that sends the current to the music I see and that causes the music I see to trigger which then we see through our lamp so that is how project number 73 works so let's move on to project 74 so here we are with project number 74 it is the light controlled LED and there's what our circuit looks like and the objective here is to use light to control our light emitting diode there and again it looks like this same project as the previous ones again it looks like project 71 but now we've replaced our two and a half volt lamp with our red LED light so uh, similar to project 71 when I turn on the slide switch our LED lights up and it will stay lit up as long as light is getting to our photoresistor there and the music I see it will keep looping over and over because it's on the trigger port as opposed to the whole port over here so again, if I cover up the photoresistor, the LED stops. And if I let off it, the LED will come back on. Again, cover it up, it turns off. So, that is how project number 74 works. So let's move on to project 75. So here's project number 75. And it is the sound control time delay LED. And that's what our circuit looks like. It, the objective here is to again, activate the LED using sound. Now this looks like project 72 in that we've got the whistle chip now over on the trigger port of the music IC. So when we turn the switch on, our LED comes on and it will stay on again through one cycle of the music IC. Then it will turn off like that. And then if I tap the whistle chip, music IC restarts and our LED lights back up. And again, you can keep on doing that, keep repeating it. So that is how project number 75 works. So let's go ahead and move on to the last project, project 76. So here we are with project number 76, and it is the motor-controlled time delay LED. And that's what our circuit looks like, and the objective here is to control the LED light using the motor. So again, like Project 73, we've got the motor on the trigger port of the music I see. So when I turn the LED on, it will stay lit up again through one cycle of the music I see, and then it will go out like that. And when we just turn the motor some, the music I see restarts and the LED lights back up. It's very similar to Project 73, but again, we're using the LED instead of the L1 2.5 volt lamp. So again, that's how project number 76 works, and that is the end of this video.